Hello, today we're going to do a video review of an 11 to 13 inch double injected fetal pig. If you're a PCC biology student, today's review will cover figures one and two in the first video sequence, and then figures three and four, the reproductive structures in the second video sequence. So if you have these handouts, uh, please find those and follow along on the handouts as we uh, do this review. As you can see, we have an 11 to 13 inch double injected fetal pig. We're gonna start in the mouth region. And if you go to the roof of the mouth, kind of anterior, towards the anterior side, um, we're going to try to locate the two teeth that are near the front of the mouth and the roof of the mouth. The first tooth is the incisor, and then the second tooth back is the canine. If you move over to the midline of the body, you'll notice these horizontal ridges and this kind of hard, firm structure that's in the roof of the mouth, this is the hard palate. And as you move down from the hard palate, you trans, uh, transfer into an area that is smooth and kind of a little bit softer in texture, that is the pharynx. And obviously you have the tongue, and then if you look at the base of the tongue, there's a really important structure right here. This is called the epiglottis that prevents food from entering the trachea during swallowing. And we're gonna work our way down into the neck region. And the landmark, the first landmark that I find in the neck region is the larynx, it houses the vocal cords. Just posterior or below the larynx is the thyroid gland. And the thyroid gland is kind of this darker red structure that's right here near the midline. Off to the side is the thymus. Okay, and so all of this tissue that kind of makes this little U shape around the thyroid gland is the thymus. And then coming off of the bottom of the larynx is the trachea. And the trachea is this tube that leads to the lungs. It has this kind of white ring cartilage um, that supports the trachea. Moving down into the thoracic or the chest cavity, you have the heart. It's a four-chambered heart, mammalian heart, most efficient in the animal uh, kingdom. And then on either side of the heart, you have the lungs. Okay, just below the lungs, there's a thin muscle that lays on the surface of the liver, and that thin muscle is a diaphragm. It controls basically um, the lungs as air moves into and out of the lungs. Below the diaphragm is the liver, largest internal organ of the body. And then if we look underneath the liver, on the pig's left side, on your right side as you're looking down, is the stomach. And so this is the stomach as we kind of just lift the liver up right here. There is a little flap that kind of lays over the top of the stomach, and this is the spleen. And so the spleen kind of lays just directly on top of the stomach coming over from the pig's left-hand side, your right-hand side. Underneath the stomach, you have the large intestine. It's a little bit bigger in diameter, kind of coiled like a garden hose. And then all of this mass of tissue on the pig's right side and the abdominal cavity on your right side is the small intestine. So you have the large intestine and the small intestine. As we work our way down, let's go to the outside of the uh, pig, and right about where you would find your belly button, this is the umbilical cord. And there are several structures associated with the umbilical cord that you'll need to know for figures uh, one and two. On the inside, or the back side of the umbilical cord, this is where the umbilical vein was cut. Okay, so there's two areas where you can locate the umbilical vein, one just on the back side of the umbilical cord, and I'll show you another one here in just a second. And if we look down directly underneath the umbilical vein, this is the urinary bladder. And then on either side of the urinary bladder, remember these are double injected fetal pigs, these are the umbilical arteries. They're injected in pink or uh, red. The veins will be blue. And we're gonna move up now and try to locate the other uh, part of the umbilical vein, which is essentially just sticking out from the below or underneath the, uh, the underneath side of the liver. That's also the umbilical vein. And if you look just to your left, the pig's right, you can see the gallbladder. And so the gallbladder's right here, stores bile. 
as if you follow that down, if that's like the neck of a balloon right in through here, that becomes the bile duct. So you have the gallbladder, the bile duct, it attaches to the top part of the small intestine where it attaches to the stomach. This top part of the small intestine is called the duodenum or duodenum. The gallbladder basically stores bile, bile moves down through the bile duct, dumps into the top part of the small intestine uh, for help and aid in digestion of fats. And then underneath the stomach and just above the uh, large intestine is the pancreas. And so the pancreas is right here. You can see it kind of all the way as it goes horizontal uh, across the top of the large intestine. And so I think for figures one and two, uh, that does it for the first review of the fetal pig.